Florida Governor Rick Scott joins us now on the telephone. He is at the airport in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Governor, thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us under such difficult circumstances. We really appreciate it. Uh, what more can you tell us about the investigation into the suspect? Any possible motive yet established by authorities? Sure. Well, first off, it's clearly an evil act. Uh, it's something that the citizens of Florida not gonna, we're not going to tolerate. Um, everybody's working together. Uh, local, state, and federal law enforcement is working together. I've been briefed uh, all afternoon. Uh, I just left uh, the terminal where the shooting happened. The, um, we, you know, we've, as you know, the law enforcement says we've lost five individuals. But I can tell you, we're going to hold people accountable. Whoever did this, uh, the state of Florida, we're going to hold them accountable to the full extent of the law. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, but it, and there's an active investigation going on. But uh, I've reached out to, um, uh, to, you know, airports around the state, including, you know, I talked this afternoon to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. I received a call from uh, President-elect Trump and Vice President-elect Pence uh, right when I got here about 2.20 uh, this afternoon. And uh, I've, uh, I've continued to keep them informed of what's going on. And what my focus right now is, is public safety, making sure everybody in our state is safe, make sure every tourist that comes to our state is safe. We're working uh, to provide resources for the displaced passengers. Uh, they can go to FloridaDisaster.org slash info uh, to get some help on that. Uh, but we're going to do everything we can uh, to help everybody, and we're going to make we're making all resources available uh, to make sure we find out exactly what happened here. Um, law enforcement sources confirmed to us that uh, the suspect, Santiago Ruiz, walked into an FBI office back in Anchorage in Alaska. Um, this happened back in 2016. He claimed that he was being forced to fight on behalf of ISIS. He was then sent to a psychiatric hospital. I wonder, um, have the FBI briefed you on that situation? And in your estimation, sir, in an effort to keep the citizens of Florida and the rest of the country safe, for that matter, do you think that uh, someone who has that kind of a history should be allowed to own a firearm? Well, right, you know, look, right now we're, we're, there's a lot of unanswered questions. We have an active investigation going on. There's going, to be, uh, off, there's going to be plenty of time for politics when we understand what happened. Right now, let's find out what happened, why it happened, hold whoever was responsible or responsible, and then there will be plenty of time for politics to decide what we do going forward. All right, uh, sir, I want to ask you, too, because uh, this is something I think that is very important for our viewers to know and for the citizens of your state. You have, in the wake of the Pulse nightclub, you've asked for $6 million to help boost counterterrorism efforts uh, in the state to keep people safe. Uh, we understand right now, obviously, that uh, this suspect, for the moment, does not appear to be related uh, to terrorism. But what, do you, what can you tell us about that program and those efforts underway? Sure. In my budget, that will come out uh, in the next 30 days. I will, I'm putting almost $6 million in there. We'll have 46 more uh, agents that will focus on counterterrorism and intelligence efforts to make sure we do everything we can uh, to keep everybody safe. Again, it was despicable what happened in Pulse. Um, the 49 in, you know, innocent individuals have lost their lives. It was an attack on our gay community, our Hispanic community. It was an attack on every citizen in this country. And I, as the governor of Florida, will keep do everything I can to keep people safe, just like what I'm doing after this. And finally, Governor, um, any information at all that you can share with us on those wounded, those survivors in the hospital? How are they doing? Well, I, right now, you know, the uh, I'm praying for them. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to help those families. Um, I, uh, you know, we're working, we're helping the right now the displaced passengers by providing resources to them at FortaDisaster.org. Uh, but with regard to those in the hospital, I'm praying that we do not lose another life. Five lives is too many, and I don't want another life lost. Governor Rick Scott, thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. You too, sir. Thank you.